Woman sells her old ring to buy food. Buyer recognizes it and can hold his tears. Janice had spent her entire life in the system as an orphan. She had no knowledge of her biological family and was left at the shelter when she was only 10 months old. The only connection she had to her past was a ring and a note that stated it belonged to her grandmother. Judy, the caretaker at the shelter, told Janice it was the only thing found with her when she was left at the doorstep. You were the tiniest and cutest baby I've ever seen, Janice. I couldn't believe that someone would leave such a beautiful angel. They probably had their reasons, I don't want to be a judge. I just wish I could tell you more about your parents, but the ring and note are all we found," Judy told a young Janice. As Janice grew older, she became more determined to find her family using the ring. She visited antique dealers and pawn shops hoping they could provide her with some information about the ring's origin. However, her efforts were futile as they all dismissed it as an ordinary trinket. Despite her disappointment, Janice held onto the ring as a precious memento of her identity and roots. It was a mysterious and integral part of her life that gave her a sense of connection to her family even though she'd never met them. Janice spent her entire childhood in a shelter without ever being adopted into a family. However, she was able to find a sense of belonging with a caretaker and other orphans who became her makeshift family. Despite her difficult upbringing, Janice was a kind and beloved individual. It was heartbreaking for those who knew her to see that she never found a permanent home. Eventually, Janice left the orphanage to start a new life, hoping that adulthood would bring her better days. Unfortunately, life continued to throw challenges her way. Janice got married and had a daughter, but her husband's gambling addiction led to their financial ruin. He disappeared, leaving her with a mountain of debt and a sick child to care for. Desperate to provide for her daughter, Janice took on two jobs, but it was still not enough to make ends meet. She was eventually fired from both positions, leading to her eviction and the loss of her possessions. Janice and her baby girl were left homeless and destitute, struggling to survive in a world that had never given them a fair chance. Despite these trials, Janice remained resilient and hopeful, praying for a way out of the darkness. Janice and her sick daughter were alone without any relatives to help them. They relied on the mercy of homeless shelters to get by, but every day was a struggle and her daughter's condition was worsening. Each night, Janice prayed the same prayer for divine guidance and support. As their situation became increasingly dire, Janice made the difficult decision to sell her ring. Though the money would only provide temporary relief, it was a necessary step to ensure they had enough to eat. With the help of a shelter volunteer, Janice found a willing buyer for her ring online. He arranged to meet at the shelter, but Janice was filled with anxiety and uncertainty. Giving up the ring was like losing a piece of her family, but her priority was now taking care of her daughter, the only family she had left. Hello, are you Janice? A voice interrupted, catching Janice off guard. It was Eric, the buyer. Janice hesitated before answering. Yes, I am, she replied, looking at the well-dressed man. Nice to meet you, Janice. I'm Eric. Can I take a look at it? Eric asked as he sat down next to her. Sure, Janice replied reluctantly. She reached for the ring, holding it tightly in her hand. She suddenly realized what she was about to do and wasn't sure if she was ready. With tears welling up in her eyes, she finally opened her hand and handed it to Eric. I'm sorry, this must mean a lot to you, Eric sympathized, taking the ring from her. It's okay, I'll be fine, Janice replied, trying to hold back her emotions. Eric examined the ring carefully. That's incredible, Eric exclaimed with a smile of revelation. Janice was confused. I don't understand, why are you so excited? There are thousands of rings like this, she said. But not like this one, it's a family heirloom. There are only three of these that exist. One belonged to my mother and the others to her sisters. Look, there's an engraving right here. Eric showed Janice the small engraving on the ring that read family forever. I would never noticed that before, Janice said astonished. Eric shared, My grandfather had the ring engraved for each of his daughters so that they could easily distinguish them from any others. Janice connected the dots. And you've been searching for it all this time? Yes, for years. My cousin Leah had a disagreement with her mother after she became pregnant with her boyfriend. She wanted to marry him, but our family didn't approve, so she stole the ring from her mother and left with a baby, Eric explained. What happened to Leah? Janice asked, intrigued by Eric's story. We searched for her, but she was nowhere to be found. I decided to search for the ring, hoping if she ever had to sell it, we could track her down. I tracked all ads with similar rings, but none had the engraving, Eric said emotionally. Janice was shocked by what she heard. Could Leah be her mother? Could Eric have the answer she'd been searching for her whole life? Eric caught Janice off guard with his question. So, Janice, how'd you come across the ring? I'm an orphan. It was all I had on me when they found me at the orphanage. That and this note. Janice replied, handing Eric the note. Reading the note, Eric was amazed. That's her handwriting. You're Leah's daughter. He said, weeping as he embraced Janice in a warm hug. Overwhelmed with emotions, Janice couldn't stop crying as she hugged her long-lost uncle. After all those years of searching for her family, she'd finally found her light at the end of a long, dark tunnel. Janice and her daughter moved in with Eric, who introduced her to the rest of the family. While Janice was incredibly overwhelmed by the sudden love she was receiving, she was grateful because it was exactly what she'd prayed for all those years. As a practicing daughter, Eric helped Janice's daughter with the treatment and she recovered in no time. 
Eric made a ring similar to the one Janice had with different colored stones and an additional engraving of the date that Janice was found. Janice and Eric continued to look for Leah, not giving up hope. The reunion reminded them that miracles can happen suddenly and that no matter how dark things may seem, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. You just have to hold on.